Okay, I'm going to just do a quick little uh, two-minute tutorial on fixing a background that was supposed to be white and it didn't get shot that way. So maybe the lighting is uneven, or uh, on this case, it just looks like I'm pretty much underexposed. I'm going to I'm going to grab this here and just brighten up the image a little bit, bring up the highlights, and uh, that actually helped out a lot. The uh, Quick little adjustment, everybody looks a tiny bit orange. I'm going to just try to get their skin tone to be a little bit more natural. Anyhow, the uh, this uh, graduated filter, or I sometimes call it the gradient filter, but uh, uh, it has it can be gradient depending on how you uh, use it. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually snap an edge to the so I'm gonna basically cover the entire white background here. I'm gonna hold down the shift key to give me a straight line and uh, give me a little bit of an edge, uh, maybe just a tiny bit more. And uh, and you can see I've uh, oh, it was actually uh, minus four stops, which is not what we want. But actually this will be cool because I can probably uh, go down to the going to create a mask. I'm going to use the color eyedropper tool to select a color, which I'm going to grab basically gray. I'm going to go here and grab it near near the gymnast. Maybe a little bit over here to get a pretty decent selection. And you can see it actually, the, the, the gymnast here in this particular case, they, they do pop. Uh, it did a pretty good job of selecting uh, minimal fringing um, very, very fast. So uh, I, I think there's probably no better way to do this. So I'm going to turn the uh, exposure for that selection up to the point where I feel like we are pretty much solid white. A little bit of detail there, but this is tons better than what it was. Um, so, I mean, that's basically about it. In this particular case, I probably would just uh, crop it to whatever size, 8 by 10 5 by 7 and send it off to the, the lab or to the printer. So let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.